Today we're diving into the impressive Cane Corso. If you're a fan of powerful and protective breeds, then this video is for you. History of the Cane Corso. The Cane Corso, often referred to as the Italian Mastiff, boasts a rich history that dates back to ancient Rome as war dogs. These dogs were bred for a variety of tasks, from guarding property and livestock to hunting game. They've earned their place as formidable protectors over centuries. The Corso almost went extinct after World War II, but experienced a resurgence in Italy in the 70s. The breed was brought to the United States in the 80s. The Cane Corso became recognized by the American Kettle Club in 2010. Cane Corso Lifespan The Cane Corso's lifespan is estimated at 10 to 12 years of age, which is quite long for such a large breed. To get the longest lifespan from your Cane Corso, you'll want to feed them a species-appropriate raw diet, giving them all the appropriate nutrients they need to thrive in life. Along with that, you'll want to take extra precaution on their joint care because mobility is key to longevity. Once mobility diminishes, everything starts to diminish. Even with the best of diets, giving a high quality joint supplement can assist in your dog's growth and development from puppyhood into senior years. We have been using New Joint DS for over 6 years now and use it on both of our dogs. You can find the exact supplement we used linked in the description box below. Cane Corso Coat and Grooming Needs The Cane Corso has a smooth, short coat that is low maintenance. Once a week brushing can suffice for most dogs, but during shedding season you'll want to brush more just to remove that dead fur. Diet plays a huge role in your dog's coat. Oftentimes people mention how soft and shiny Bruce and Justice are and wonder what type of shampoo we use. I have to tell them that it's not due to the shampoo, it's due to the raw diet they consume, which is another huge benefit to feeding raw. Because of the raw diet, they barely shed unless it's shedding season. All in all, grooming is very easy on Iconic Corso. If you're finding this video insightful, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any Cane Corso experiences that you'd like to share, drop them in the comments below for me to read. Cane Corso Color Cane Corsos come in a variety of colors, including black, gray, fawn, black brindle, gray brindle, red, and chestnut brindle. All of these colors are recognized as breed standard by the AKC. Color also matters when it comes to lifespan. Studies have shown that certain colors live longer on average than others. If you want to know what color has the longest lifespan, check out our lifespan by color video linked below. Within certain colors, Cane Corsos also have distinct markings. Some of them have a black mask or gray mask, and many have patches such as Bruce Wayne and Joey Justice on their chest. Cane Corso Size If you search the average weight of a Cane Corso online, you will see the weights range greatly from website to website. Some sites say they range from 90 to 120 pounds, while others will state they range from 90 to 140 pounds. From personal experience, I typically see Cane Corsos ranging from 100 to 140 pounds, and some exceeding that. For example, Bruce Wayne weighs 155 pounds. A male Corso stands 25 to 27.5 inches at the withers, where females stand 23.5 to 26 inches at the withers. Size will vary greatly from dog to dog. Cane Corso Trainability Cane Corsos are eager to please their leaders. Mixed with their incredible level of intelligence, it makes them highly trainable if one understands how to train dogs. They are not for first time dog owners or for someone with little dog training experience as an untrained Corso can quickly become a nightmare and liability for someone. The perfect puppy course and the perfect canine companion course linked in the description box below will give you the knowledge and education you need to self-train your Cane Corso to get that perfect canine companion you're looking for. All of the training courses linked, you can get 10% off using code JASON. If you are knowledgeable about dog training and dog behavior and have the ability to take the lead, you should have no problems training a Cane Corso. Cane Corso Temperament and Personality A Cane Corso is intelligent, versatile, and extremely loyal to their pack, but they can also be assertive and willful. Beneath their imposing exterior, Cane Corsos are known for their loyalty and devotion to their families and are extremely affectionate to the ones they love. They form strong bonds with their Kahus and are incredibly protective, making them excellent guard dogs. Their guarding does not need to be taught as it is part of their instincts. Once a Cane Corso starts to exit puppyhood and become a young adolescent, is when you will start to see the first signs of their guarding instinct come about. 
Early socialization and training are key to ensuring a balanced temperament. But socialization should never end as it is a skill your dog has learned. With any skill, if you do not practice said skill, it starts to diminish over time. It is of the utmost importance to always be socializing and training a Kane Corso. You may be wondering why I said Kahu and not my dog's owner. I believe we are not owners of any living creature. Kahu is a Hawaiian term and it means guardian, protector, steward, beloved attendant, basically someone entrusted with the safekeeping of something precious, something cherished. All our dogs have is us, and we must be their kahu. Kane Corso is not a dog that will thrive being left alone in the yard all day. They are highly devoted to their pack and they want to be part of the family. Kane Corso Activity and Training While Kane Corsos have an innate guardian instinct, they also need regular exercise to keep both their bodies and minds engaged. Daily walks, playtime, and mental stimulation activities are crucial. Consistent and constant training is essential from puppyhood to harness their intelligence and potential. If you give them a job to do, they will be the most satisfied and happy. There are plenty of things you can do with your dog to make them feel like they are performing a job or task. One example would be to put a weighted vest on them. The weight of the vest they are carrying makes them feel as if they are accomplishing a task even if there's not much weight that they're carrying. I use a weight vest on both of my Connie Corso's Bruce Wayne and Joey Justice, and it only weighs about six pounds, but the mental satisfaction they get out of it far outweighs a walk without one of the vests on. I will leave the weighted vest that I use on my dogs linked in the description box below. A Connie Corso can go on hikes with you, but they're not a dog you'd want to go on a long hike or long runs with. Remember, it's a large, heavy breed, and they're not designed to run and hike long distances. You must take the utmost care with a Connie Corso puppy, and be sure to not exercise them too hard until they're 18 to 19 months of age when those growth plates close. They grow extremely fast, and their joints can suffer long-term damage if you over-exercise a young dog. Connie Corso Health Considerations Like all breeds, Connie Corsos are prone to certain health conditions. These may include hip and elbow dysplasia, bloat, cherry eye, and certain heart issues. There are many things you can do to offset any health issues to the best of your ability, such as regular vet checkups, a species-appropriate raw diet, daily exercise, and a high-quality joint supplement can go a long way in keeping them happy and healthy, living as long as possible. Be smart about how you go about feeding them to avoid issues like bloat, which can kill your dog very quickly. Do not let them eat or drink 30 to 45 minutes after heavy exercise or play to best avoid a bad situation. Choosing a Cane Corso If you're considering adding a Cane Corso to your family, make sure you're prepared for their unique needs. Their size, energy level, and protective nature require a committed owner, or Kahu. The cost of a Cane Corso's care far exceeds the average size dog. The bigger the dog, the bigger the expenses. Getting a Cane Corso from a reputable breeder who prioritizes health and temperament is a must. There are a lot of breeder scams out there and a lot of backyard breeders. Red flags to look for would be somebody advertising puppies for sale and they are extremely cheap, five, six hundred dollars. When talking to a breeder, red flags to look for would be a breeder who does not ask you many questions about your living situation, such as the size of your yard, do you have a fence, do you have children, do you have any pets in the house? Have you had dogs in the past? Another red flag would be a breeder who is more interested in how they're going to get paid versus how the dog will be cared for. Expect to have to divulge a lot of personal information to a good breeder because they want to only give up their dogs to homes who are committed to giving their dogs the best life possible. A good breeder will offer a health guarantee on their puppies. A good breeder will have x-rays of the parent's hips. These are just some things to look for when looking for a Cane Corso breeder. A Cane Corso beautifully combines strength, loyalty, and affection. Whether you're drawn to the history, fascinated by their appearance, or intrigued by their temperament, one thing's for sure, a Cane Corso will always stand by your side as a loyal companion and protector. Do not rush to get this breed if you're not ready. The breed will always be here for you once the time is right in your life. They take a lot of commitment and care. They are an expensive breed to own due to their size and their requirements. But if you have the resources, 
time and knowledge to raise one of these magnificent creatures, your life will be forever changed for the better. Thanks for joining us today. If you found this breakdown insightful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that dingling bell so you won't miss our upcoming Kane Corso breed features. Until next time, Bruce Wayne, Joey Justice, and myself, we'll see you later. Peace.